What's up guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to be looking at the Cooler Master HAF 700 EVO, HAF 700 EVO. This is a humongous case and honestly I decided to go ahead with it because it finally came down about $200 in price. It was selling for about $700 when it first came out. Now it's gone down to $550. Considering they give you a GPU holder vertical mount, it kind of brings it down to about $400, $450. So I figured, yeah, it might be worth it after all. And considering it also has the monitoring display, I thought that's worth at least $50 and they give you three fans so let's say all in all if you were to break everything up it's worth about $400 that's still a very expensive case but when you think about how much the Asus Helios is and something like the 7000D the case isn't too bad after all the main thing I wanted to show you guys is basically how this case comes together how you take it apart and also how you remove it from the box by yourself they designed it that way just like any plasma big ass TV, you have these tabs that secure the box together and they've made this tool free so that you don't need anything in order to open the box. What you need to do here is pinch on the center here and pull back, then take it out. Do the same to the other side, to the other side. With all four of these clips removed, you can now lift off the top of the cover. They say you're supposed to cut the box open, but you don't have to do that. That way you can store it if you want to keep the box. From here, just lift the foam piece inside the box will come off. We take off the plastic. We're going to pick it up from here. And our other hand will go here. Just pick it up, bend your legs, get out of the way, and then drop it back down. This case looks absolutely insane i've just got the case on this lazy susan down the bottom here this is the front of the case you've got your reset button power button headphone jack mic jack type c port and three usb 3.2 ports you've got these really cool tempered glass feature then it's got mesh there so cool air can go inside so that's a really good design mesh front panels you need the cool air to come in we got this nice tempered glass panel here. One of the main flaws with this case, they've made this out of plastic. This is metal. This is tempered glass, but this is plastic. They really should have just kept it all metal. This is all metal. If you mean when you're spending that type of money, you want to ensure that everything is solid. Here is that cool little display. It monitors your PC temps. You get two sickle flow fans at the back here. I've already removed it. And then you get one more down the bottom here in the center. They put it right there. And you can see inside here, you've got this vertical GPU mount. In order to start to disassemble this case, you need to remove this screw right here. Use a screwdriver and just undo it all the way. So I've already installed the vertical mount right now, but I will show you how it's done. We remove this screw. Now it says here, pull back. So you pull it straight back until it stops. Then you lift. You've got this nice mesh filter here for air exhaust. Then you've got this as metal, but then you've got here plastic. This is all metal. It's just the back here is plastic. Once you have the top cover removed, everything else is basically toolless. You grab the top part here and you pull back towards you. See that? It stops here. Do not pull any further than this or you're going to bend the slot at the bottom. Then you just lift. You can see we've got this nice big tempered glass panel, foam pads here, a metal surround with a plastic top part here. That's plastic. This is tempered glass. Do the same to the other side now. Just pull back, it unclips, and then you lift. Magnetic dust filters, so it makes it easy to clean. Once again, plastic at the top. You got these foam pads here, so it doesn't slam when you close it, and you got these rails that slots in. In order to remove this front piece, there is a clip at the bottom. You squeeze on it and then you pull out. There we are. And then the whole thing just comes off. But this is what I was talking about here. You've got this clip here, right? You squeeze it and it opens it up. That releases this entire front panel. There is an LED light here. That's going to light up these tempered glass panels. You've got this dust filter here that removes easily so you can clean it. Put it back in. You've got to line up these tabs, push it down and then push it back down. 
Now let's take a look at what the guts of the PC has to offer. Got two 200 millimeter fans right here. You don't need to remove these. You're still able to install your radiator inside the case and still have this pulling cool air into the case. You could always switch these out for RGB. This is where they give you the box for your GPU holder. And this is a very cool GPU holder. Definitely quality made. So I'm gonna remove this now You just take it out. Let me show you the modular design. You can see here that they've given you the option to install SSD or HDD. They're removable. Counterclockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. And you're able to remove all of these in order to reveal this modular cage to install a radiator or three fans. Lift, slide out. This is the modular cage. This screw just locks in the cage so it stays put like this. Once you remove it, you're able to angle this like that, meaning it would push against the front of the tempered glass here. Cold air would introduce from the bottom and exhaust out the top. You set it to the position you want and then you tighten it with these two screws here. If you want it flat, you just undo these, then you push it back down, put your screw back in and you can put it back in. They also have given you a riser cable. Let's remove this other modular cage. It's the exact same modular cage that we removed from the bottom except now there's one on the front for your AIO if you wanted to install one on the front here. Pull back and lift. This installs right behind these two huge 200 millimeter intake fans. This is where you can install a radiator if you wanted to. You could install one here, you could install one on the bottom or even on the side right here. You have so much modular design, the possibilities are endless. And same principle here, you've got a screw that locks it in and then you've got these two here that allow for it to open and close. You also have this kind of like cover at the bottom. I think it's to help hide the cables. You just undo this screw here, pull it out to the right. Let's go to the back of the case, I mean the other side of the case. So already you can see that there is so many storage options. You've got three more plates here to install SSDs. Remove them. You can ins install 120 fans or 140 fans or a radiator. You also have this modular plate here which allows for you to install HDD or SSD. With the simple press of this tab here, you remove this hard drive cage and look at the storage on this. You've got four hard drive cages in here which you could install either 2.5 inch SSD. You don't have to worry about not having enough drive space. You saw how easily that went in and out. Put it back in, you just have to line up these. You line one side up and then you've got one more at the bottom here. You line it up like this and then you close it and it clicks back in. Here you've got all your cables, you've got some cable management here, and you have two ARGB hubs. One on the top here, and then there's one right here as well. And you've got cable management right here. Here you've got your power switch, power LED. Normally, you'd have these as separate cables, but they've made it into one plug, so you just plug it straight in. So that's pretty cool as well. HD audio cable, two USB 3.2 cables, type C, SATA, power I presume, USB 2.0, and then you've got HD audio as well. This would control the front temp display and the USB 3.2s here would control the USB ports at the front here. And type C would be your type C here. Really simple design, everything seems to work well. And then of course you've got your power supply which installs down here two screws here which will then secure your power supply in your power supply would go in sideways with the fan facing out because if you had the fan facing this way it would just go into the wall and you don't want that this vertical GPU holder nice cool little toolless design so let me show you how you release these slots in order to install these. usually you have these slots here that are installed but I've removed them so that I could install this it says pull here so you pull this like that, come on this side here, pull it out like you're pulling out the slots. Pull it like that, and it comes right out. So if you take a look here, you do have this toolless design where you can just simply pull these out. And these simply lock in via these tabs here. Now, this does come apart, just to give you a better understanding of how this all works. You've got these levers here, and if you undo this, 
it allows for the entire holder to come apart like so I think this is just to help you install your graphics card easier and then you can just put it back together or it will allow you to slide it in and out as far as you want and you just lock it back in again like that you see all these tabs here they line up with these tabs here so when you go to install it you line up all these tabs right and then you lock it in with this piece right here it does open up all the way once you line up your graphics card slots with these slots here you push it on in and then you just lock it in with this right there and that's that tallest design we're talking about here but with this screw here when you undo it you're able to adjust where you want your graphics card you get graphics card vertical mounts which sit too close to the tempered glass panel but with this adjustment you're able to push it back further if you need be or a little bit further out you've got to give props to cooler master they made a very cool vertical gpu holder and then once you put your graphics card in the graphics card would secure with these three screw threads here we'll open this up we'll install it quickly so you guys can see how you go about installing it notice that this has two screw holes okay one there and one there one on each side this would obviously install like that this would plug into your motherboard on this side this would come through the bottom like so and then you would put in a screw on either side to hold the PCIe riser cable in place you would then install your graphics card slots of your graphics cards going to sit here so then you put in three screws to secure your graphics card to this vertical mount right and lastly there are just two more panels on this PC case that you can remove the top one being one of them so you've got two screws one on each side here and then you're able to remove this top panel by lifting up and sliding back and this is the panel where you're able to install either 140 fans three of them or six 120 fans you also have this panel here and this panel here is used to continue the fan panel under this plate so you remove this plate here via these two screws here right so you undo these two screws once they're undone you're able to push it out and you can remove this glass panel here it says designed by cooler master and it's got like a little pattern right there you're able to install up to four 120 fans or three 140 fans and that's what this extra piece here is for because without it you wouldn't be able to fit four but then you could still fit three 120 fans down here this just extends it so you're able to continue another 140 fan if you wanted to install three if you didn't need to install more fans there you could leave this glass panel and it would just make for a very nice reflection of all your RGB it would reflect off this glass and it would look pretty nice that pretty much completes every single part of this Cooler Master case the last thing to show you would be the dust filter at the bottom of the case it simply pulls out right here and you can remove it so you can clean it however way you choose and then once you're done you just push it straight back in this case ended up being a really cool case indeed something completely different yet very practical as well and that's what it's all about getting a case that is going to offer you all the features that any other case would but then give you extras in options and what not so in the end I have to say that I really am impressed with this cooler master half 700 Evo case for a full tower EATX PC case it has everything that you could possibly need in a PC case giving you the option to mount vertically horizontally on the side extra fans vertical GPU mount and also plenty of room for expandable storage whether it be 3.5 inch drives or 2.5 inch drives it's just as important to have bigger storage for your 2.5 inch SSDs you're not always able to install all the M2 drives that you want because they share lanes with the GPU it could slow down your graphics cards 
performance. Just because your motherboard has four or five M2 slots, it does not necessarily mean you should use all of them. As for cooling, really can't debate that this case has amazing potential for cooling. With the use of these two 200 millimeter intake fans, and then being able to install your front radiator, whether you want to install it here or up the top or down the bottom or even on the side, you're able to do that and still get a lot of intake cool air passing through. And having two 120 millimeter exhaust fans just gives you that extra exhaust of hot air out of the case. Pulling all that hot air out of the case and then matching it with the same amount of intake fans and that would even out your fan configuration because you always want more intake than exhaust that is the rule of thumb bear that in mind when you set up your fans is it really worth the 550 dollars that i paid for this case yes and no this case first started off as 750 dollars when i paid for this i only paid 550 dollars and so let's break it down $550 is what I paid for it, but they give you a vertical GPU holder, which would cost $100, easy, maybe even over. Let's just call it a hundred. They give you a PCIe 4.0 riser cable, and that's an easy $60 to $80. And it's a Cooler Master brand, so it's going to cost $60 to $80 easily. Then you've got a temperature display, which will cost you about $50 to get a decent temperature display so let's round it off to two hundred dollars right a hundred dollars for the vertical mount fifty dollars for the the riser cable and then fifty dollars for the temp display that brings it to about three hundred fifty dollars left over if you think about it like that three hundred fifty dollars is pretty much worth it for a case like this it's sheer size the amount of cooling it has to offer the expandable storage on it the amount of drives it has to offer and its modular design in the end i would say this case is worth it they could have made it a, a lot better in terms of quality and material but in the end it's a very heavy case i can understand why they use plastic in some places but even if they used metal instead it wouldn't have added that much more weight to the case itself all in all, I am very happy with the case and I cannot wait to build in it. Be sure to stay tuned for the build. I will be transferring everything over from my existing Asus Helios case. This is going to be my personal build. So I will be going all out and using Lian Lee fans, AL120s and a 420 AIO. 4090, 64 GB of RAM. So be sure to stay tuned for that video. And um, I really hope you found this video helpful and it gives you a better idea of how to build in this Cooler Master Half 700 case. If not, be sure to watch my next video where I do my complete build in this PC case. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off.